I have a random theory. This that makes absolutely no sense, but I like to play with it anyway. That um, Jack Allen is actually Donovan. Oh yeah, Ooh. we talked about that. Ah! Yeah, that'd be cool. He's always away, whatever stuff is going on, because they can't have the same actor. So mm. I'm, I'm just saying, maybe he's secretly Donovan. <laughs> you never know. You'll never know. Jack Allen, the super spy. <laughs> well, I mean, Jack does know about Jason's profession, so. Mm-hmm. Okay. When I listened to Love is in the Air, like, Connie left the room, and Jason was like, uh, this is more dangerous than when I was in the agency. I was like, you literally said that, and she was right there, but she didn't. <laughs> he says he's an, he was an analyst for the government, and Connie goes, yeah, sure. Like, she didn't even believe him then, and she was so surprised. Like, why were you surprised? Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, uh, it was just like she's like my head cannon is confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like all like, why didn't you tell me? And yeah, like, like they, I they literally did. did. Just kind of <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't believe. I told me. you she just forgets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, the memory wipe. Wit has a memory wipe. He wipes his employees. <laughs> like, <laughs> Wit has one of those oh, sticks no. from uh, Men in Black. Just no. okay, please look at the flash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, it wasn't there, so I guess Jack had it. Jack, yeah. Or maybe yeah. it's one of Jason's uh, spy gadgets. Or Jake. Jack's, Ooh. because he's Donovan. So. <laughs> exactly. And Donovan did retire, remember? Because Tasha's like, well, after Donovan retired, I looked True. around yeah. and suddenly I didn't know anybody anymore. Yeah. So he retired. Yeah. Jack had to retire, too. I was going to say, Donovan retired right when Jack came to Odyssey, so. Mm. Pretty much. Mm. Last week we talked about accidental dilemma, but really talked about a name, not a number. This week we're talking about a name, not a number, but really it's love is in the air. <laughs> we really so if, if next if I use the random number generator and it chooses that episode, I'm gonna be like FBI agent, be working real hard. Yes. <laughs> when Doctor Blaggard and Jason are like bonding over Odyssey and Wit and all that. Um, Jason goes, it is a, a fairly terrorist. strange coincidence. And I'm like, Jason believes in coincidences? Wit, you didn't teach, did you teach him anything? Like, not oh, yeah, because Wit doesn't believe in coincidences. It's like, Wit, Rental fail. <laughs> like, right, oh, as soon as you meet Wit, you know he doesn't believe in coincidences. Like, yeah. it's just a thing. True. Well, there's the big, there's the, like, the little extra thing in, like, the very first album talking about how Wit's down like not downfall but like his his one weakness was with his own family so maybe that was one thing he that failed to pass true. on to jason true that's true very, very true which kind of makes sense i mean there's trauma in that family too with the whole jerry thing and obviously yeah. with mm-hmm. Jana. but i feel like jason was just young enough that it was also with kind of like redemption child in a way yeah yeah, yeah. that makes sense i think well i think that or like jason was just so young that even though it made all these mistakes, he was still young enough to repair the damage. Yeah. I, think, I think it's pretty clear that Wit did not approve of the husband at yeah. all. Yeah. 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 No, that's when you first see Wit like not being the perfect dude, and you're like, "Whoa, what is happening?" So yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> this amazing grandfatherly type has weaknesses. What? 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 And a possible? human. <gasps> no <laughs> early albums. Now he's not anymore. Now he's yeah, anymore. that's true. Yeah, Rip. Well, they do talk about it again. I'm going back to between the lines because that's <laughs> what I was listening to. Yeah. Like they do touch on the tension between Jason and Wit and Jana. Yeah, yeah. Plus, like when their mom died, like Jason was probably in college or just finishing college, and like if he was going into the agency, I've always wondered, like, when did he come back? Like, did he come back before his mom died? Because yeah. I feel like that would be a really important. Like, I saw a Tumblr post, and again, this was like months ago when we were discussing stuff like this, I guess. But they made they were talking about parallels between Jason and Connie, and mm-hmm. somebody guesstimated that Connie was twenty three when her mom died. And they also were like, Jason, from my best guess, was 23 when Jenny died. See? Wow. It is. So, yeah, you, you were there. Like, he would have just, he probably would have been going through training or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The agency when that happens. I wonder if he would have had, 
a, if he would have like properly tended to his grief, or he would have just thrown himself into the agency in order. I think to, he like, totally threw him. himself yeah, into the no, agency. No, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's probably how he became the best agent. Like my mom's dead, so time. I'm just gonna exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, oh, I mean, that hurts. I've watched enough cop shows and stuff to know that, like NCIS, that's my jam, and Gibbs is the uh, best agent. And he joined a, after his wife. Or no, he joined before they were killed. But that them being we got really good like, at it. Really like threw him into his work. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense, especially like uh, ha- not having Jerry and then his mom dying. Like, yeah. like yeah. Jerry was clearly his hero. Oh, yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah. yeah. And t- that track episode track was and, oh, so, like, oh. well, and in life and expectancy, you know, you hear that you know Jason and Wit don't talk about them much, and like it's very clear that Jason still has a lot of grief surrounding yeah. them, even though it's been uh. years. Yeah, like him wanting to talk about it like that. You can tell that he hadn't and he needed to. Yeah. Then he freaks out about the thought of his dad dying. Like completely like Ah. loses it over it. Yeah. Another similarity between him and Connie. Jason, imagine Jason in church. And the pastor's for you. Like Jacob rests with the angel. And Jason's like saying that, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. (laughs) (laughs) And no, he's immediately like looking around like, where's Tasha? (laughs) Tasha's really the pastor. (laughs) She and like talk at each other. Somebody takes off the mask and they're like, there was no pastor. (laughs) (laughs) What kind of Scooby-Doo? What Scooby-Doo stuff is this? Exactly. (laughs) Uh, Jason stands up. I knew it. (laughs) (laughs) Wits just next to him like, calm down, son. You're not in the agency anymore. Calm down. (laughs) Sorry, sorry. And Jason's like, that's what you think. (laughs) Wipes out his badge. <laughs> Agent one one three one. What? Connie, Connie stands up. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> it's the new ice slap floor. Oh. It is. It's just Jason like daydreaming in a ch- in church. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, so That'd be hilarious. I was Serving that too long. Uh, is there? I'm trying to think now. Like besides George Barkley becoming a pastor, do they have any scenes in Odyssey where they're actually in a church at all? Um, I mean, like wedding episodes. Some. I There's mean, wedding, like yeah, school. but like just for like which church. brother-in-law? What's brother-in-law? They have they've had some episodes with him. Right. I don't remember if they've been in a church though. There's mm. some episodes yeah. with like Wit teaching Sunday school. That's true. The older That's true. episodes. Yeah. yeah. Well, and some newer one. Yeah, a little bit of both. Jason fixes literally everything in the shop in, like, the next few episodes after this. It's really and bored. Like, what happened to that? He doesn't do that anymore. What yeah. Is- he's, he's an inventor like Wit. He he's can program. No. Now adventure. that he's retired from the agency, he just sits around and runs a sh- shop. Lame. I bet the antique shop is now a cover for something. He probably oh. it's probably like the Underground yeah. Railroad for NSA agents. <laughs> <laughs> if you need an ident- a new identity, just go to Jason Whitaker. He'll yes. hook you up. Look, I know this guy. He'll hook you up. <laughs> I know the a guy who knows with a guy. Buck. I can't think of the episode name, but the one where we found out Buck's past. He comes long end. Yeah, long and right. Um. Well. Um, what's his face? The the junkyard dude calls him and is Hitler. like, "Hey, I just sent some really bad guys to you, just so you know." And he's like, "Cool." <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if out. Wally Hagler was an informant. I can see that. Probably, to be honest, would not be surprised. Do, but do they even record in Colorado? I think they might record. Oh, they were they in, were in California. California. Yeah. Oh. yeah. But the headquarters is in Colorado. I've been there once. Sweet. Colorado? Yes. Dr. Winston. Nice. Colorado yes, Springs yo. was like the one place I always wanted to go to the time I was like 10 to like 16. Same. And still do want to. My family would, so you pick the vacation this year. I'm like, we're going to Colorado. Okay, we have a lot of, we're going to Wits End. Okay, so we did. Have you had a Wad Fam chalk sod? I did. They're amazing. Oh, I had no. two, actually. I went back the next day and got another one. Nice. Yeah. Did you amazing. slide down the slide? Yes. There's a slide? Yeah. There's a three-story yeah. slide. Oh. Slide. And like then we ha- 
I recorded a kids' radio yes. episode too. That was fun. <gasps> what? Oh, Yo. Can you imagine if Adventures in Absurdity did a kids' radio show? Oh my oh, god. god. That would be so good. That would be so cool. Right. We're going to go this summer and then Corona. <laughs> yeah. Yep. As soon as Corona's done, we need Ab- Adventures in Absurdity Road Trip. Specifically so, like, to Colorado. In three years. Okay. And th- <laughs> exactly. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we'll do a live recording of the podcast from the kids' yeah. radio studio. Hey, I know you should have a fairly large following. So yeah, I'm you know, like- well, the Ceiling Fan podcast, which I was obsessed with, it, they did. Kevin McCreary, um lived in Colorado for a while, and he was, I think, roommates with Nathan Hubler. Oh my god! And- Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, cool. He did a bunch of crazy stuff. I don't know if you've ever seen the video of somebody trying to paint Nathan Hoobler's toenail so that they would bring Mitch back, but that was Kevin McCreary. <laughs> what? <laughs> and so they did a road trip to find Odyssey where I don't think the cast ever actually went on it, but they were trying that they, they pretended to record in a bunch of different places to find adventures and to find the town of Odyssey. And that's what I think about every time we talk about the road trip, the, the road trip to find Odyssey. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, does anyone know what state Odyssey is like actually supposed to be in? Oh, because <laughs> there, there was a Tumblr Illinois. post about this like six or seven months ago, and somebody uh, found a Campbell co- County. In there was Tennessee. a Campbell County in Kentucky. Kentucky, that's what it was. <laughs> Kentucky, and it's near the tri state area, it's close enough to Chicago to drive or fly. It's oh. and it has a Route 13 or one, something that was mentioned in Odyssey as like a major highway running through it. Yo. Oh, and I think they also said it made sense with um, Bernard and Eugene's road trip to California, but also Connie and Joanne's road trip to DC. We have solved the great Odyssey mystery. Hi, Miss Tasha. Yeah. Sorry. She was just a really good character. Like she didn't get on your nerves, even if you don't agree with her and Jason together. Like, which yeah, I mean, I'm just not. A, I never had anything against them being together, but like, I'm glad they didn't end up together. Yeah, I liked yeah. the story arc of them like not ending up together and stuff. I thought it was uh-huh. well fun, <laughs> even yeah. if they were a little crazy. But like, like, no, they were they were a more realistic Christian couple. Yeah, half Christian couple. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. somewhat. Because in so yeah. far she hasn't come back suddenly saved, so we got that going for her. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I want her to get saved. I just don't want her to come back and then suddenly get back together. Yeah, I I would love to see like that. I would love to see her like come back to talk to Jason or Wit about the influence they had in her life and like the yeah. decision. Yeah. Like it helped influence Especially. her decision, and maybe you yeah. get what some if of she her came story. Back- but like, like I don't... a labyrinth type episode. Yeah. And For like her. she talks about it. Yeah. And maybe like she gets led to Christ, but she doesn't stick around. I just want them to like kind of close that. Right. I want them to yeah. close the Asha door. Because it was closed, kind of. Well, they never really closed it in the search for wit. I think that was her last episode before um Accidental Accidental Dilemma. dilemma. Yeah. 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 And then she just kinda and off again. Disappeared. Yeah, I would like them to kind of close. Like, wrap actually, it up with still a little engaged. Bow. <laughs> 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 wrap it with a little bow and then send her off. Yeah. yeah, I just I would like to see that. Yeah. I would like to see Tasha get a happy ending. I guess. Uh, or like, kind of like bring her back, like how they brought Mitch. You know, yeah, mm. yeah. but better than how they brought Jason Mitch. Has to be <laughs> better better. Than that, but in the same. Jason sees her and still has feelings about it about yeah. her, but isn't going to act on them because he knows it's not. Well, I oh. think an episode of Jason getting over Tasha or like confronting those feelings he has because it's obvious an accidental dilemma. They both still have feelings for each other. Oh yeah. yeah. So like, I think that would be a really good one. Imagine like, she comes... Sorry, go ahead. No, she just, like, even mentions in a few episodes later, like, when she was dating other guys, that all she, like, was looking for in them was Jason. So, like, yeah. does she end up with anyone else, or is she still just looking for Jason? Like, hmm. Dang. I would love to know. 
Imagine right. she comes back to Odyssey, like, looking for Jason, and then accidentally runs into Jillian beforehand. Oh! <laughs> Jillian, Eats her one. out of Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> Love. <laughs> she would okay. like, not take any of Jillian's crap. She'd be like, um, she would get. She, maybe she would finally punch her. <laughs> yeah. Well, didn't we talk? Hey, this about- is where I oh. need to say goodbye. All right. Oh, okay. man. So, bye. 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 Thanks for joining bye. us. Oh wait, that was Jamie. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> y'all. Y'all sound. Y'all. I think have the most similar voices. Oh. Grace, Jamie. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad now. And then there were four. What was I saying? <laughs> I forget now. We're talking about Jason. Jillian. Oh yeah, Not we then. we talked about this a couple weeks ago, didn't we? About how Tasha would come back and like eat her out of Odyssey or something. <laughs> oh, no. I'd love to see that happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or just even her being like, "You're stupid," <laughs> because. <laughs> She needs to hear um, it. Uh, uh. I feel though she would somewhat enjoy the pain Jason is in having to work with Jillian. Honestly, he she would. She would just laugh at him the whole time. Just, yeah, yeah, just be making fun of him. Where is my husband? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>